Today I want to talk a little bit about the Stotts MSGCL unit. This is a multifunctional uh, pneumatic and electronic gauge. As you can see from the front here, we can have up to eight pneumatic channels. Those could also be switched to LVDTs or a mix match of both. Uh, it's a color touch screen, uh, USB port on the front. Um, and all eight of these channels could be used simultaneous or you could use them individually. Uh, and I'll get back to that here in a minute about what uh, uh, about the possibilities of the programming. I want to touch base on the back side of it to show you what uh, all comes with it. Everything you see on this right side is uh, standard. So we have a 24 uh, volt digital I.O. for handshaking with a robot or a machine tool. We have your standard RS-232 output. This would be for a foot switch or a keyboard. Um, we have Ethernet. That is TCP IP, much like a computer, uh, for saving to a file server or something like that. And we have a USB port. This could also have four uh, electronic inputs on the back used for LVDTs. And you can see that, that there's lots of options for additional things such as Profibus, an analog card, another Ethernet, um, and we have our standard power input and a power switch here, and your two power or uh, air inputs. You have one for each four channels. Now I want to talk a little bit about the programming. Uh, as you can see, the programming is customized to the specific to the customer's application. Uh, again, this is a color touch screen. Uh, if I click up here in the upper left hand corner, you'll see that a list of, of programs will come up. I can have many different programs. Um, uh, this one has, I think, 19 in it, but we could have many more than that. So that you could, you know, you could recall something and, and uh, you know, the program would look completely different. Um, you know, lots of different options. Um, where we could actually maybe put like part of a blueprint, something like that. Um, but I'm going to focus on uh, this one down here, this this gear one that I had. Uh, it gives us lots of lots of buttons. We have a start, uh, info, statistics, because this does have full statistics in it. Our calibrate button. Uh, you can delete the last measurement. We got a hardware test and then a menu setting. And um, we can do lots of different uh, inputs to trigger the start of this. You can simply hit the start here to, to start the measurement. We could use a foot switch um, or something like that. We could actually be measuring the, the back pressure on each channel and when the back pressure reached a certain threshold that would trigger a start. Uh, we can actually also input uh, values from a scanner if you had a data matrix or something like that. Maybe the first thing that comes up is it asks you for the serial number. You can enter that through a keyboard or like I said through a scanner, something like that. Lots of options uh, because this has the ability to output the data to a file server as well. Um, this also has, uh, the when I showed you the back it didn't have one, but we can uh, put an error saver feature on that. When you're not actually taking a measurement, it could uh, reduce the error flow by about 90%, saving you a lot of uh, um, cost in electricity. Um, stand, this one's set up in inch, but uh, you see the numbers are green because the values were good. They would be red if they were bad. This is just one display that we can do showing your upper and lower tolerance limits. And, but really, this screen is up to your imagination with, you know, with your logo, all of that. Um, but I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into the software. So uh, if, you go ahead and, if we go ahead and hit the statistics button, we get all the statistic parts. So I've measured some parts and I'm measuring four features and it tells me how many are okay, how many are under, how many are over, gives me the percentage. Uh, if I go to the next display, it gives me the Pareto chart. If I go to the next display, I'm getting the histogram and you see that's for ID top, but if I hit down, I see ID bottom and so on and so forth. Um, uh, your XS chart, or we can also change it to an XR chart. And we can actually go in and look at individual samples um, and see the data in there. Again, we're getting our histogram. Uh, next display is it's just plotting every measurement graphically, uh, each one, not, not a five-piece sample, each one. Again, you can scroll through 
you can see I had one little flyer up there when I started um, and then it gives all the values uh, numerically as well and again you can scroll through so uh, that's all there um, at, at any time let's uh, let's go to the next let me go back so if I wanted this if I wanted to like export this if I click up here I can actually print the screen as a PNG file to, to a USB stick so I can say yes to that it'll write the data uh, I got a USB stick on the back of this one and it, it would write this data as a PNG file so I'm gonna go out of here um, you can also do lots of other stuff so if I go into menu here and go to program of course I can copy programs edit programs all of that stuff without having any additional software just using the buttons here on the front but what I wanted to, to talk about was uh, the data part portion uh, here you see I can delete the data or I can export the data uh, if I say export it'll give me uh, it'll give me some options here you see up here it says text but I can do it in Excel, DFQ, whatever, and I can say I can say where I want to save it. And right now I've got 17 um, measurements, but I could say the the last values. And if I said that, it would say how many of the last values. Uh, you can do from this to this date, all that kind of stuff. I think one of the most exciting things, though, is this project import export. So let's say you you bought a unit and you had it set up, and then later you bought some additional stuff. We could actually do the program here, send the project to you, and you could simply import the project from a USB stick right into this. Um, of, of course, you could you could copy and, and uh, make your own program too, but we could do it and you could import it or you could export it. Let's say you bought multiple of these and you wanted all the, pro, all the columns to be the same. You could uh, export and then import to each one individually. So lots of features built into this. Um, uh, I'm only scratching the, the tip of the iceberg here. Just wanted to give a quick video on this uh, so that you could see what, what uh, options are available. Um, and if you have any, uh, any questions, you can uh, reach me at this contact information. I uh, want to thank you very much for watching the video. And I hope you'll uh, reach out to us and, uh, and give us a call. Thanks.